Welcome back everyone, Toysius here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Todd McFarlane took to his social medias today to show off the brand new seven figures that are coming for McFarlane's GameStop Day, which will be happening tomorrow, depending on when you see this, tomorrow, Friday, October 15th, 5 a.m. Pacific, 8 a.m. East. And I would say let those times kind of have some room to, to, to work around those. I would say in and around those times. But yeah, bright and early for us West Coasters. But he went over the seven figures that will be up for pre-order tomorrow, starting with this, I'm assuming, right? We're going to say, we're going to take what he says. It's not just the one figure that they showed off. He's saying it more as it's a box set with Batman and the three Jokers from the new three Jokers line. So if you didn't want to get them single-wise, it looks to be that you can get them within a box set that will go up for pre-order tomorrow. And most likely, they will be the exact same figures that were offered, but just more in a collector's pack. Like they did recently with the Walmart, they had the Batman Who Laughs, and then you had the three Joker Robins, the Crow Robins. And then, this one, very excited for. Now keep in mind, he did go up recently on Amazon for pre-order. He sold out real quick. He will go back up. Eventually, there was no photos, it's kind of blind pre-order situation, but at GameStop, you'll be able to get Swamp Thing. So this is our first look at the Swamp Thing figure. This version for GameStop will come with more of the horned look for Swamp Thing, so that'll be like their type of store variant. So there will be the standard version, we'll say, and then the GameStop more horned version, and then... You know, later down the road, we'll have the gold Swamp Thing and the uh, platinum Swamp Thing. I don't know. You know what I mean? Now, in terms of accessories, I only showed off these images. I'm sure the images will go up later today, probably, or tomorrow morning, of course, when GameStop posts all the pre-orders. But for now, I'll tell you this. I'm very excited for this Swamp Thing. That looks like a gargantuan mega figure, super tall Swamp Thing, exactly how he should be. And then moving away from DC Multiverse, we're going to go into the Spawn Alley with the Bloodied Violator. So this is the exact same figure, now more bloodied version. And let's hope with you know the whole Walmart situation, let's hope he ships with the blood this time. That would be nice, right? No, I'm sure <laughs> God, I hope they'll figure that out. Limited edition version includes a signed art print. So you get the Bloodied Violator, and you get the art print that's signed by Todd McFarlane if you want to go that route. And he looks cool. I mean, to be honest with you, the Violator, in any situation, if you can get this figure, if you want him, he's a fantastic toy. So definitely get him, bloodied or otherwise. It's a very cool looking figure. And then moving into the Warhammer series. For the Warhammer fans, we have the Raven Guard Veteran Sergeant. At least that's what I took from what Todd McFarlane said in the video. So you can tell me if I'm wrong, but that's what I'm assuming. So it's a more black and white with some red accents figure for all the Warhammer 4000s. And then the mega figure orc. It's got the big shooter as, as he said in the video. So comes complete with big shooter. Did not specify if it's one of those art print type figures where it's going to be staying in that grayscale sort of look or it will be fully painted. Kind of remains to be seen, but in either way, yes, it will be a mega orc with the big shooter. <laughs> That's my favorite part. And then on the Witcher aspect, they're going to do the 12 inch, much like the Spawn Violator. This is the 12 inch Ice Giant bloodied version. A lot of blood going on. With McFarlane, as you know, a lot of people know, especially with the 90s and collecting Spawn figures, there was always a sort of bloodied variant in some manner. But those seven figures, quote unquote, we'll say for the box set, it seems like for the Batman and the Joker. Now, it might turn out, yes, maybe he was saying it wrong or quoting it wrong. It might just be that Joker, but that Joker was also a Walmart exclusive. So, unless it kind of turns out, that it's a simple change or he comes with a different accessory or something in that degree. I have to kind of take it as it's a Batman set with the three Jokers all in one go. So that really wraps up all seven figures for the McFarland GameStop event. Again, tomorrow, October 15th, 5 a.m. Pacific, 8 a.m. East. Nice and bright and early <laughs> if you want these things. My God, couldn't have made it easy on us, right? No, of course not. Not on the West Coast. 
by any means. And just before we go, just to kind of go over the situation yesterday at Target, I myself got the email, hey, guess what? Uh, we canceled your Batman years too. Here's a $5 gift card. I was like, okay. And then not even what, like five, 10 minutes later, they went back up for pre-order. And yes, it really is a shame for those that were at work or didn't know that it went back up. I know that on the McFarland Instagram, they had said, they made a post on the story that said, you know, they're well aware of what happened and they're working on the situation. So I would hope and I would think that they would kind of do something in the sense of, you know, working with Target and getting more pre-orders for everyone who thought they had them, you know, and then now they, they canceled them and then they weren't following they were at work and whatnot and missed the pre-order all over again and again i can't speak to exactly what happened i'm much like you we're in the dark about all this kind of stuff but hopefully hopefully they get it all straightened out and they make it good again for the fans but in the meantime you know for those of you who were able to get some money off on top of the gift card i mean that kind of works out in that sense but it's got to be fair for everyone. I fully agree. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember McFarland Day, 5 a.m., 8 a.m. Pacific. Which ones are you going for? Going for Swamp Thing. That's for me. Probably the Violator, too. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>